Hello everyone, welcome on in to CSI Gaming. We're back on the New Beginnings farm here. Guys, when we left off on this farm about a week ago, we were we acquired, um, if you look at your screen upper right hand corner there, we acquired all those smaller fields to add to our larger field. And we also acquired that farm out there. So there's a lot to clean up up there, guys. We never did finish it. Um, we have some animals to tend to. We got all kinds of stuff happening here on the New Beginnings farm. Let's get after it. Uh, welcome on in first to Allison, who was the first in the house. Welcome on in, Allison. Samantha was in shortly thereafter. She's done all of her tags Thank already. Thank you. Thank you for hitting all the tags. Appreciate it there. Uh, oh, let's welcome on in, Sammy. I don't have an Alice. Yeah, Sammy, we hear you. We hear you. Uh, yep, 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 yep. We hear you. I uh, don't have uh, I don't have a uh, Allison sticker yet. I don't know why I don't. But uh, welcome on in, Allison. Uh, Cindy's in the house. Say hello to everyone. Appreciate that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's right. Allison in the house. All right, guys. Uh, where did we end off uh, here um, other than way up at the top? Let's check back at the farm, shall we? Here we are. We always start at the farm, right? Always start at the farm. Uh, let's go feed the dog. You know, Shannon will be here. She'll be screaming at us. Did you feed the dog? No, we didn't. Here's Zeppelin. Dog's fed. Okay. <sighs> Zip around back. Let's get these cows checked in after. You know, we still need to do something with these guys. Let's see if we got room in the back for those. What is it? Is this grass or... No, this is hay. Cows, how you looking there? Oh, plenty of food. We got only a thousand liters. Oh, you guys are looking good. Go around and check the back. I'm making myself all... I guess you were. Allison says, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff back here, guys. Plenty of stuff back here. Looking good. How's the pooper scooper looking now? We got plenty of room in there. Let's Thank jump. You. Let's jump in here really quick. Let's get this uh, emptied up. Wow, that, that didn't take much at all. Uh, thank you, Cindy, for uh, the like. Cindy hit her like button almost immediately. Thank you for that. Sam has also hit her like button. Guys, we got plenty of food out here. The pigs are doing good. Pigs are doing great here, guys. Our pigs are doing just fine without us over here. Check it on the sheepages. Not much happening in the way of wool here. Got a little bit of wool. They've got some grass here looking good. A little bit of wool here. Though they've got two bundles of grass here. They must be extra hungry. So good here, guys. Good here. All right. Gonna check on the chickens. Guys, my other tractor. Yes, your like button worked. My other tractor is way up. I'm going to take the backup. I, I think this is a backup to the backup. I'm not sure, but we're going to take another one up there when we go. We're going to come back in a minute and grab the uh, the plow because we got to cut in a new field out there at the top of the map. But uh, remember we own this field way over here, guys? We own this hog wilds. And he says, yeah, we own this one way over here. Uh, let's go take a look at this one. Guys, we have $143,302 in our coffer. Uh, looking good. Um, yeah, this cotton is like... This cotton is taking a month of Sundays to grow over here. Let's see if it needs like fertilizing. No, it's fertilized. It's maxed out. We're just... We're just waiting on the be uh, on the uh, ability to harvest it. So that field is good. That's the only far out field we own, other than the grass fields. I don't know. I guess we could purchase this one. I don't know what what we do with it. We got to find out how much it would cost us. Um, what's it say? Grow together, harvest together. Is that a new billboard? That's kind of cool. That's one of them new billboards. Nice field. Yeah, it, it's going to be a nice field of cotton. Well, we purchased that about a month ago, and that cotton's been growing ever since. All right, let's check the fish. The alfisho. How are we doing on grass here, guys? Yeah, we got a little bit of grass in there. Remember, we finally figured out how to work this thing. So, uh, running. It's running. Uh, they got... What's fishes? 32 liters of fishes. Uh, they got corn. Yep, they're looking good on food. Uh, yep, fishies are over here. Looking good. Yep, fishies are looking good. Why is this trailer out here? Better yet, why does it look like crap? 
Who left this trailer out here? Why is there a random dozen eggs sitting out here? What's up with this trailer, guys? Do you remember what the status of this thing was sitting here? Well, it doesn't belong here, that's for sure. It belongs over... Well, well let's go wash it, for God's sake. Look how nasty it is. Let's go wash it, and then we'll find a home for it. Who did I leave in charge of this trailer? Where, where's Angie at? I thought Angie was in charge of trailers. And how dirty this thing is. That's an ugly trailer. Hey, there's a the dog. Yeah, you don't want to come over here when I have this in my hand, do you? Uh-huh, I see, I see, I see. Hmm. Well, that trailer's better. That's a lot better. Wash of the trailer. One side wonder want. Yep, says 10K, 10X. Huh. Not sure what's up with this trailer, but we're going to put it back here. Because this is where we... This is where we would haul grass to. Right here. So let's leave it here. I don't know what it was doing over there. But anyway, it's back where it belongs. Uh, not sure why we got one thing of eggs sitting out here, guys. One lonely pallet of eggs. Let's see what the chickens are doing. Let's see what the chick, 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 chickens. Oh, lots of chickens. Look at this, guys. Lots of chickens. Where's the truck? What's the truck doing over here? Who left the truck? Yeah, that was nice and shiny. Who moved the truck over here? Hmm. Something is out of place. Something is not the same as the other. Alright. Guys, there's some money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Alright, so how has everybody's day been? How was your... What day is it? Wednesday? How was your Wednesday, everybody? I did a little, just a little bit. I went and met my printer. Had a form created. Had this form created by the printer. Ooh, got that done. Uh, went to pick up a igniter for a stove for one of our units. They didn't have it. Kind of a weird situation. I walk in the door. Before I even say anything, it says, Do you know the model number for that stove that that igniter came out of? I'm like, nope. He says, I can't order you one. I'm like, well, do you want to look at it first? Because it's got numbers, right? He said, nope. I'm like, wow. Before I even got to the counter, I said, okay, have a good day, and walked out. And that guy didn't want my business. So I went over to Home Depot, and they sell the same ones for pennies on the dollars. But... It's a one-day thing where you got to order it, and then they ship it overnight. And you get it the next afternoon. So I'll go back and pick that up so we can fix that tenant stove. The boiler isn't working. I don't know what's happening. How are we doing on food here? Ah, 38000 That looks good. Let's jump in the truck. Uh, golden eggs. Yes. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Woohoo! Yes. Yes. Corey. Is Corey in the house? I didn't see Corey. Where did Corey at? Come in. Ah, Corey didn't come in here. Home Depot, yes. Uh, Home Depot is not my favorite store. I go there maybe twice or three times a year for stuff. Everything else I get from Menards. Let me pick up these eggs here. These guys only make like one. One, one little basket of eggs I got. Like, really? What all you guys got? Yeah, what will we got in here? Oh, just a half a pallet of eggs. What's that about? What's that about? How are they doing on food here? We got plenty of food. Eh. One pallet of eggs. Well, is it even worth stopping there? So Cindy said, I worked them. Oh, you tagged them. I see, Allison. You tagged them. Um, I wish we had a Menards. Yeah, I like them. 
Let's see, just one pallet of eggs in there. I'm not going to worry about that. All right, so we don't have a lot of eggs to carry over there yet, guys. So what we'll do is we'll just leave these trucks here, I guess. We'll just leave them here until we get more eggs. No reason to go over there with half a truck. But let's check this last one out. Do, 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 do. Ooh look at this, guys. We're full. Full house in here. Yes. I'll drop the eggs. Get out there. I worked there. I wish we had Menards. Yes. Guys, how was your Wednesday? You didn't answer my question. What have you ladies been up to? Have to be up to something out there. Who let the dog out? Who? 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 I seen some posts from. Oh my God! What do I do that out there? Huh? That's all right. It'll suck it in right there too. Seen some posts from Cindy. I didn't see any of Allison's post. And what? What's that about? I did see some of Sammy's post. She's claiming that. Uh, why am I doing way up here? She's claiming that the beach is missing her. I thought that was kind of fun. Like, is the beach missing her, or is she already missing the beach? Like, uh huh. Yeah. So the supermodel got over to my mother-in-law's house, and she, uh, well, why is it loading these? And she, uh, sanded down the bathroom, uh, the spackling that she put in it. Well, why do I keep doing that? It's like I keep walking over something. She sanded down the bathroom and re-spackled it again. She painted one of the heat registers, and then she came right back home. Guys, I think we're just on remodel burnout. I did not make it there today. Um, however, good news. As the contractor called me, he said he'll be there bright and early in the morning. So maybe he'll finish the front foyer. Maybe he'll start on the door. Um, I finished all the flooring, as you've seen in an earlier video, if you're a follower. Man, that was a good toss. Um... So yeah, it was a day off from the remodel thing. Why isn't it loading these? What's up, guys? You don't want to get on the truck or what? I'll put you over here. Maybe, yeah, there, let that up. Then what happened to the ones I threw over? Oh, those got loaded. You need to be a little closer. Cool. All right, guys, and then let's check. Yep, they have plenty of food as well. All right. Take care of the animals. Uh, I didn't post. Ah, uh, maybe that's why I didn't see. It was a productive. Uh, got a car tag. Sticking care of. Cool. I got to take two cars over to get emissions testing. Once I do that, then I can get. Um, oh boy, that's a big lag. Then I can get my tags on my car. But I got to get them tested for emissions first. Uh, the beach is missing me. Gotcha. You laid the floor. For, ah, look out. Um, the, uh, the subfloor, yes. The subfloor. That got done. I'll, uh, there is one more closet area. But you will see that in the next video. But I'm still looking for some, some flooring. Don't know what kind we're going to put in there. It'll be like Pergo or... Uh, or hardwood floors but uh, that's a huge family room it's going to take a month of Sundays to get that thing done all right but before we do that I want to spray everything I want to spray everything down for for uh, bugs don't want to do emissions yeah yeah I've seen the subfloor video cool all right so animals are done Fields are looking good. Our fields don't need our attention yet. Um, we'll head over and finish up this grass thing. Then maybe we'll look at some contracts. Huh? I wonder how much we owe the bank on this farm. Now, if you remember when we were here last, I took the contract on these two fields, these two grass fields. The one I'm cutting through now 
and the one on the right. And uh, we had to cut them, dry them, bale them, and get them over to where they were going. So as you can see, those got done. And then we did that on these little three lots right here, right? And then after that, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to purchase this this whole piece of property. So I purchased this property, and then I cleaned up all the grass in between them. That's why it looks a little bit different. And then I don't know if you remember, but there was a, like a, a farmhouse here. And so I sold the farmhouse, kind of took down all the old barns and stuff like that. That was here. I kind of fixed uh, the grass area here a little bit. Uh, put in a driveway, and I put in a garage, right? And then I moved all of, see if we can just kind of cut through here. I moved in all of the grass cutting equipment in here, since this will be our main grass field here. So, so this is our main grass area here. We got that, I, I got a little fuel tank up here because the gas station is so far away. And we finally got a little wash thing here. We got um, our fertilizer thing here. Maybe what? There's a little bit of a bump there. What's going on with that, huh? Let's get out and take a look and see what's happening there. Um, that's an ugly bump right there, guys. Let's see if we can't fix that. So we're all set here, guys. I, I mean, we do need some additional pieces of equipment, um, and we'll get those. But, you know, when we get the money, I guess. It's all about having money so we can afford them. That's a bit of a, bit of a hill here. I don't know if I'm helping that or what. But Where's Cliff? Cliff is our land guy. I miss Cliff. Well, where or where has Master Cliff gone? I did get, well, it's a little, well, maybe it's not. It's a bit of a, whoop. well, we'll just have to, have to deal with that, I guess. What jobs can be picked up? Right, um, we're going to take a look at that. But yeah, uh, this thing makes feel, well, it's a bit of a dip there. Now, what's that about? Huh. Well, let's see if we can fix that one. Why is it so dippy over here? Right here. Look at that. Right here. That's probably where a barn was or something. I didn't level it off since I got rid of all those barns from here. And maybe it's... That's what it is. This one right here. Nope, still there. Huh? Well, I have to deal with it. But yeah, the this little uh this thing will actually make a field, so First of all, is you got to cut in the field where you want it, and then you got to go back and you got to fix it, right? So uh, I guess we can cut it in, just so you can see what I'm talking about. I won't take up all the time, and we got all that land over there. Well, if we could put something over there, maybe some sort of a grass factory or something, because we're gonna have a lot of grass here. Lower that, uh, allow to create the field. Uh, There we go. So see, I can create a field here now. Uh, we can just kind of curve it around here. We can bring it out here wherever we want to and make this one big field here. I'll clean up the edges. I'll go back and clean up the edges. But we want this field to be all like, yeah, growing at one time. So if I don't go over these old fields, it'll be like a different sort of a thing going on there. Allison says, I do too. Is Cliff having uh, computer issues? I don't know. 
Uh, when I last seen him, he was on the purple side. He was having some coughing issues. He said he wasn't uh, feeling his best. But I'll check in on him. I seen him in a uh, stream earlier, so I know he's all right. I seen him in a stream, not one of his streams, but I saw have someone else's stream earlier. So then, you know, you just kind of go like this, guys, and you just make a field here out of this. And then it's just one big grass field then. And then we'll use this for silage, and uh, maybe we'll sell some, and we'll use it for hay. Uh, so yeah, uh, grass is big, big money maker. So now we got a huge grass field of our own. Like I said, I'll square all this up later on. Alright, guys, so this is what I'll do is I'll just kind of... Let me go back and clean that up a little bit. Let me fix this part in here. What is that? There we are. There we go. It'll make sense later on when you see it. When you see the finished product, you're back. Oh, I see what he was doing. Ah, so, what are your plans for tomorrow, everyone? My plans are meeting with the contractor, spending all day at my mother-in-law's house. And painting a room, emptying out a room, all kinds of stuff. I need some more laborers, you know, just guys that are not necessarily talented in the trades of of carpentry or electricity or plumbing but are willing to earn some cash because I've got a lot of stuff that needs to be hauled from the third floor all the way on the third floor all the way down to the garage so we can sort it dispose of what we don't want keep the good stuff put it in deep storage in the sub basement too haven't carried it all down there after it's been cleaned. So the upstairs is totally empty. Thank you. And then we'll bring in, you know, all new furniture and and redecorate the whole place up there. But you gotta have the rooms empty so we can take out the carpet in the in the other seven bedrooms. We gotta take out the carpet. We gotta take out the subfloors. We gotta paint one window, new new uh, new ceiling fans, another bathroom to be remodeled up there. But you can't do it when the rooms are full, from floor to ceiling, from wall to wall, just full of stuff. Stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. One room, it smells in there. I think something died. I don't know, because she's only got one cat left. And uh, once we capture that cat, it's hard to, to catch a cat in a mansion. It knows all this hiding places, so it'll run for me, and then you'll you'll never find it. Yes, general labor. Um, so yes, but so we're upstairs now, just trying to go through that. We're getting there, and then I have on the main floor the family room is done, but living room number two. I don't know why they have two living areas. But the second area, which they refer to as the living room, the larger room is referred to as a family room. Um, that's full too. So, yeah. And I'm paying. I'm currently paying two hundred and ten dollars a month to have pods sitting in the driveway. So I have like two pods on rent right now, and I probably need two more 
Just just to get stuff somewhere out of the house. I just need it out of the house so that we can work in there. I'll be well. Come on by. Come on by. Uh, help me out there too, Allison. If you got a good back and a set of muscles to lift the heavy stuff, I can use the help. Cindy says, big project, one day at a time. Well, that's right, Cindy. That's why I'm saying that I have two months in on a one-year remodel. Two months in on a one-year remodel. So, there's a long way to go. All right, guys. Well, look at that. That old farm is gone. Right? The old farm is gone, and uh, our grass field is almost doubled in size. So, yeah, guys, loving it, loving it. Now, we'll finish picking up these bales. Here, guys, we'll finish picking up these bales. And uh, getting these hauled away. And then we'll plant some grass and do some stuff. All right. I will have to plant grass in the whole thing again. So it's all growing at the same time. If I don't, I'll have grass coming in at two different times. Alright, so now I have to turn off creating the field. There we go. And now we want to just kind of just leave this thing sitting here. So let's just jump out of this one. Let's get into this one. Alright, let's finish picking up this stuff, guys. Turn on the baler, lower it down. Get, the, get this picked up. Then we'll be done here. I volunteer uh, roadside to help you. All right. Well, that's kind of cool. You can jump in the truck. Come, you, you know what? We, Sam, you, you may not be uh, wrong there. Why is this not? Why is this not unloading? Yeah, uh, because we may actually need his tow truck to get some of that heavy stuff out of there. I mean, there's just huge stuff in there. A lot of bigs. A lot of bigs that we could actually use. A lot of ulti... Like, uh, in my opinion, all the, all the furniture is, like, in the wrong area. Like, she has a total of five beautifully crafted antique cabinets and she has five children and she wants to leave each of her children um a cabinet that's full of collectibles so each of her children have these it's it's been something that she wanted to do all of her life but somehow over her life when she acquired them she had them moved into into areas of the house that were not all in the same area so I'm going to empty them out and then move them all into the same area. So all five cabinets are like sitting side by side. She's got beautiful antique furniture, but all, all in the wrong spots. So a lot of organizing. Yep, guys, just instant message me and I'll give you the address. Y'all show up. I'll put you all to work. Oh, I'll find plenty of work for everybody. Plenty of work for everybody there. Get all these missed bits in here. Might as well when I'm waiting to unload. Oh, and look, it did have to get unloaded right on the pile. Oh, who put that one in the way? Oh, man. I 
It seems like we do a lot of grass on all the farms, but grass is key for all the animals. Because those animals that make us all the money need that grass. Those cows, the sheepages. No, I don't want to run it over. I want to move it over. There we go. Oh, man. can hear the dog barking way over here. What's that about? A huge dog bark. Ooh, let the dog out. Ooh. Ooh, 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 let the dog out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, let the dog out. Sammy, where is um where is Oak Beach? That was a cat. Oh, I thought I heard the dog barking. My bad, I thought I heard the dog. A lot of misfits here, guys. A lot of misfits. Uh, North Carolina. Ah, so how long of a drive was it then from your casa to, uh, to North Carolina? What, about a 12-hour drive? Wow, a lot of lagging going on there, guys. A lot of lagging. Holy moly. Facebook must have an, must be having some server issues tonight. I know Cliff mentioned he was having some on Facebook. Facebook's having a lot of issues, I understand. Six hour drive, okay. Yeah, I think you're about a nine-hour drive from me. Cindy is about a 12-hour drive. I used to be able to make it down by Cindy and Mom's house in 10 hours. But not anymore. Not anymore. It takes a lot longer for some reason. Two hours longer than what it used to. Get this curve part picked up here. Get this picked up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Get these miscellaneous bits picked up. Do we have like 24 bales on the on the thing yet? If we have 24, I'll stop and pick them up and get them out of our way. 
Let me make about three more just to make sure. And I'm sure we'll have 24 then. What's the sign there? I thought I could fit in between those two signs. Apparently not. I think I'm about six hours from Cindy. Ah. Uh, let me back up. I don't want to come back through here at the 19th time. What the heck? Blinky's all set up for um, tomorrow, son. Her little procedure she's having there, I guess. Followage, 154 days. Nice. Nice. Have I made it to 1,000 days yet? I know I was kind of close. One fifty four. Trying to get these bits gathered up now, and then we'll work on these main rolls. Yes, uh, she's good to go. Okay, cool. First one in scheduled. Nice. As soon as they open, I'll be there. Uh, where's she getting it done? Man. These little bales are getting... They're coming quick. Now how did I miss these? How did I miss these bits? I went right over them. I think from now on, I think I'm just going to like forget the bits that I miss. And just go with whatever I grab and not go back and get them. Just, it's, it's a pain in the ass. Like it just does it intentionally. Let's see if we can't get some of these picked up and get them out of our way. More bits everywhere. Alright. That should easily be 24.
As soon as one is done, another one spits out. Thank you, Angie, for tagging in everybody. Not Angie, Allison. Oh, why I keep calling you Angie? I was watching another guy stream earlier. Never, see, I guess he's like done a a raid on us. I'm trying to think of his name. Uh, Ruben hangs out over there by him all the time. Like yeah, you know this guy's running a community farm. I think I'll just stop in and you know his farm and you know hang out with him for a while. Well, I tried to access his farm and it was like wow he had a bunch of mods and everything. Yeah, that's it's gonna be difficult. Get this bale out of the way. It's bale. Let us miss bits there. How'd that happen? Miss bits. Miss bits. There we go. Back up and get them. Looks like we got some of those bales rolling south. All right, I think that's it. Any more grass anywhere? Oh, look at that. More misfits. Go figure. And I went right over those. She says, no worries. Thank you. All right, so let me keep track of where all those loose ones are rolling to. When you got a hilly, grassy area. I, I seen one rolled halfway down the highway once. Alright guys. A couple little patches here. I was going to stop and pick them up when I got to 24 and then I'm like, yeah, let's just keep going. Let's get this part over and done with. It's like, let, let's just rip the band-aid off. Let's just... Well, here we go again with another bail. But Got to get it off this hill or it'll roll down onto the highway. Uh, that's why you see me heading to high ground when it starts to roll the bale off. No more grass over there? No. All right, just a tad bit more, guys, and we got her. We got her done. Get her done. Get her done. Jeff Foxworthy used to say that all the time, right? Get her done. Go back up top of the hill here so we don't lose it. There are Larry the cable guy, that's what it was. Thank you. I need somebody to have the answer. 
Le um, Jeff Foxworthy was a guy that says, here's your sign, right? Yeah, here's your sign. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy came to Joliet's Rialto Theater. He comes every year. He's very popular here. And he does like two shows and then he gets out of town. He sells out every year. All right, guys, that's it on grass. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's put this Baylor thing away. Shall we wash it? Might as well. We got a washer here. We got a washer here now. We might as well wash everything. Look how nasty this thing is. Has been washing forever and a day. Nice and clean. I'm gonna go shave every day and you'll always be clean. In the tractor. Park this thing in here where she goes. Ron White is tater salad. Ron White is like, he drinks all the time, right? Guy's got like a drinking problem or something. Angie, Angie would be proud of me, would she? Bill Engel is, here's your sign. Yeah. I'm going to put this tractor back. Don't need 47 tractors over here. Although I imagine I could leave a tractor up there at that farm, huh? Yeah, I'll just leave one tractor up there. This is the one that goes in front of the barn, or in front of the... In front of the barn. goes here. This one goes here. Let's go back up to top. Get in this one. That's the one we want. How many bales do you think we got, guys? That's a lot of bales. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, yes he does. Six. I think we have 24 of them. This one rolling south on us. We better get it before it gets in an area where we can't get it. There we go, we got it now.
Let's get this one out by the highway. You see any more out here by the highway? I don't. Get this one by the highway. That's 14. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Jordan's in the house. What's up, Jordan? Jordan. Jordan. Where's our Jordan sticker? I think we have a Jordan sticker here somewhere. Thank you. There he is. Here's a Jordan sticker. Jordan in the house. Thank you for the like, Blake. Thank you for the like, Jordan. Because that's 21. Play two. Play three. Play four. Twenty four of them. Let's go and load this. Yeah, I think we got a few more, son. A few more than twenty four there. This should take care of our silage issue for a while to go. Sam says, all right, I'm back. Thank God you're back. All right, Sam. <clears throat> we were just talking about our most embarrassing moments in life. And we all just talked about them. So now it's your turn to share with us what was your most embarrassing moment in life. Now, I think there's only like eight more bales, Cindy. There's only eight more of them. Been quiet, quiet without you. All right, let's see if we can't get these bales in that hole. Oh, we got white ones in there too. All right, let's dump them. Zoom in so we can watch the process here. Got to get these in that hole. This tree's in our way. We got to get these in that hole, guys. See if we can do it. We got white marshmallows and black marshmallows in here. All right. Now, of course, we're going to have to go fix those so that door will close. Because when they're in the way, the door won't close. Picture, it's Sicily, 1912. <laughs> okay, that's going to be an interesting story. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, JJ, for the like. JJ in the house. JJ in the ha all right, so I gotta do a little reorganizing here. No, I'll set this one over here. Move these around a little bit. Put that one over here. Because we got more that we gotta get in here, right? We got a lot more that we gotta get in here. Is 
that one over there. There we go. Those are good. Guys, looking good on silage. Get this one back in this room. Put it over there. Nice. Put these over there in the corner. This I kind of shock put them back there. Get in the back. There you go. Get in the back. Oh, stacking them three high, are we? There we go. Now we got it. Looks good. Make sure that none came out anywhere. Yes. Guys, we have enough silage to last us for a while. None came over here. Alright, good. Let's go get the rest of it. Picture it in Sicily, 19, or 1912. It started with a boat called the Titanic. Uh, Sophia was uh, in her heyday. Okay. Is there a boat called the Titanic? I'm listening. <gasps> Sammy. It sunk. What did you do in the back of that old car with that guy? Oh, you were down in, like, storage? What was the name of that guy? You and him fogged up the windows. Um, can't think of his name. Uh, he drew a picture of you. Uh, that's his name. Oh, I took out a couple signs, didn't I? It's three more, son. That's four. It's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ten extra ones. So a total of 34 of them. What was the pole there? Sign, actually. Nine. All right, let's go get these delivered back. Hey, there goes Sam in her red car right there. Where are you going, Sam? Oh, they let you drive the boat. Ah, I see what happened. Ah, kind of skinned the side of an iceberg, did you? Accidentally scuff an iceberg, huh? I can see whether that could be an embarrassing moment. All right, guys, where are we going to put these silage bales until they're needed? Uh, well, how about right here next to these? Next to these straw bales. Good enough place, huh? Might as well. Start a pile of extra bales out here, I guess. Look at the cows out there laying down. Oh, more bales to look at. Mm 
Nice. I wish I could trim those weeds out back, but it's not my property. Alright, this goes right here. Nice. Then we'll zip back up into the last piece of equipment we got here. And remember guys, we were talking about leaving a tractor up here. But, we also have to plow this area here of all of its grass. And then plant it all one color. One grass at one time. Well, we'll have to trim up the edges first. They let me drive the boat. Yeah. I could see where that would be a little embarrassing. Guys, we've been streaming for an hour and five minutes already. Holy moly. Yeah, so I'm going to shorten the field up here. When I edit it, or clean up the edges, our field isn't going to go all the way up here because it's right by the end of the map and it's really hard to, it's hard to get up here. So I'll shorten that up about one roll. Technically, it wasn't the Titanic, it was the Olympics. The Olympic. Yes, I read that. I re that was an interesting story, Sam. I loved that version of the story. So not a lot of people knew. Not a lot of people knew that story. I'll, I'll let you share it. It's a great story. It's a great story. And how it was sunk intentionally for the insurance. Yes. Great story. Please share it with the group in case in, in case they not uh, or they haven't heard about it. See here, it it's hard to even get here, so I'm gonna fix this part too, so we don't have to worry about this hill here, because this is kind of redonkulous here on this hill. Good story. I don't know if she's typing, because it is going to be quite the long story. They switched the ships, and there was a dark spot on the picture showing that they already, that there was already a fire on the ship. Yes. So then what happened with the Titanic? Because a lot of people didn't know that there was actually two of those ships. There were two of them. And the Olympic had issues. So he was going to get insurance money on one of the ships somehow. Why, what I don't understand with all the doors that that ship had, 
with all the floating material that that ship had, no matter what its name was, how wasn't there more people making, like, floating devices to get on? And then paddle away. I mean, if you've got a ship that big going down, you don't want to be within 100 yards of it. It'll suck you down. Well, I so enjoy that movie, Titanic. It was a well-done movie. I mean, you you just got to really enjoy it. It's a great movie. I heard that there's actually a Titanic 2 movie that was made shortly after Titanic, about four years later, but it was never released. And now, um, whoever the owner of it was didn't get all the proper signatures and stuff that, that they needed. And now that a lot of those actors and actresses are passed away that it may never be released because they can't give proper credit to, to the people that it belongs to. It would switch to uh, collect the insurance on it and to pretty much get rid of the rich and the powerful people. Yep. Yep, there was a lot more happening on on that than than what the movie portrayed. Who else was on that ship? What other famous Americans were on that ship that changed changed a lot of hit, um, stuff that could have taken place if they would have survived. Can you name a few? Do you know the young actress who played the role of Rose is actually one of the main actresses on, um, what was the name of that movie? I just watched it the other day. Um, That's the name of the movie now. It just fell right out of my head. The person that owned the ship was supposed to be on it, but backed out last minute knowing it was switched. Yep. Yep, so many stories there. 
Alright guys, now we're done doing this, so now you'll get to watch me trim up the edges here a little bit. A little behind the scenes stuff on on trimming up the edges. I usually do this stuff offline, but I need a circle. Got to go really slow to get a straight edge. Good night, Cindy. Cindy's leaving. I'm calling a night. Good night, everyone. The person who won the. All right. Say it later, Cindy. Oh, I went too far there. Let the dogs out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't think of the name of the uh, movie. It's still, like, it's not coming back. And I just watched it. It's like purple things, and they were like, oh, Avatar. Avatar. I love the Titanic. It was already, uh, yes, I love that movie. I love it, love it, love it. Avatar. She was one of the main actresses in, in Avatar. The actress who played Rose. She's actually from England, I think. The young one, not the older version of Rose. Did you know that they had two different endings to to Titanic? One where they gave, uh, where the older Rose gave the diamond away, and then the one that we all see where she throws it overboard. There were two different endings, and they decided to go with the one that we all know. I should be able to go back to squares. Nope, still have to do a circle. I don't know why I can't fix that area. Get a bigger circle, huh? Never watched Avatar. It was a good movie. Um, I watched it for the first time the other day, well, a week or so ago, from start to finish. They're coming out with another Avatar, actually. Um, great movie, after having watched it from start to finish. They have, like, a 3D version of it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of 3D movies, but I watched the regular first you know, first edition, and it was pretty good. Right. 
let's see where we're going to end up here. I need to blend this into that. So this will come and blend in about right here somewhere. I'll try to keep it off the road. I like my field, a nice square edge. Clean cut edge. And you'll see what we put out here on the edge here in a minute. I mean, we're only going to lose about like three bales of silage by cutting all this stuff off, but just it's so much easier to maintain. I tried but never could get myself interested in it. Well, you know, it does. You, you gotta. It's it's one of those things that'll grow on you. Gotta give it a minute. Gotta give it a minute. Avatar. The movie Avatar, Jordan. We're talking about the movie Avatar. Uh, th those are birds. <laughs> those are birds, young lady. Birds, birds, birds. Our field has bugs. Get rid of this hill. Bugs. I'm in the way. I gotta angle that over there. like right through here. bugs no nope, pretty sure there are bugs probably bed bugs no they're birds I'll show you 
let's go find one here you see that one right here let's go zoom in see it's a bird watch yeah it's a bird 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 all right I'll come back and clean that jagged area up in a minute. Oh, where am I going? No, oh, no, turn around. No, stop. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. Where's the smallest one? Right there. Come down. Come down. Here we are. About right here. This, this can probably be a square. Yeah. This could be a square. Goes quicker when it's a square. Zoom in more. So did they have to shut down, definitely a bed bug, did they have to shut down um, your place of business when you were gone? Because, you know, Sammy's not there, then things didn't run right, I'm sure. That looks so much better. Nice clean cut. Definitely, but uh, oh, I haven't heard back from if they had to shut down. No, I don't know. They uh, did because I got the schedule for this week and sent me in. What? I don't know what they did because I got the schedule this week sent to me with me on it. Uh, Cool. See how it's got like a much better square. Try to clean up this area back here a little bit more. So this area is nice and clean. Nice and clean back here. Yes. 
No miscellaneous grass back here. No. Nice. Nice square corners. Nice square corners. I don't know what we're going to do on this edge yet. Figure out a way to clean up this edge. Hmm. Could be interesting here. Hmm. Now we're going to clean up these corners. This is nice over here. This is nice. It comes up to a nice. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. Well, that's fine. Then it comes down here. This is nice. And then it kind of curves back around. Comes down here. But we got to clean up this area. This side is 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 not right because it's on a hill. Um, I took two weeks off, and they only took me off the schedule for one week, so I don't know. Oh, that's not good. Well, they must need you for something. They must need you for something, girl. Need that round thing back. Zoom in. Let's take some of this hill off. Okay, that's kind of better. Better take that hill off. Got a little bit of an oddball corner here. There we go. Don't like this area here, but not much I can do about it. Kind of weird. Sure, what we can do about that there. All right. What do you think? A little better, anyway, huh? Well, they didn't get me. Yeah. Okay. Let's fold this thing up. Put this back down at the other section. We'll have to plant some grass. Plant it and roll it. And then call it a day. Grass field is done. Um, well, they didn't get me. Anybody notice I always drive down the wrong lane when I'm going back and forth to the grass field? And and there's never an issue. Um, I'm PRN, and they treat me as full time. Oh, I'm part time, and they treat you like full time. Hmm. So, do you get full time benefits?
Nope, I don't get any benefits. That's why I'm part-time now, so I can pick the days I work. Yeah, okay. You know what you should do, Sammy? What do you think about a company called Sammy Transport? Sammy Transport. Just little just listen to me here. You buy a used ambulance and you strip it down from all of its flashing and blinking lights. Rubber this uh, red and 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 and, and non-yellow lights you just switch out those lenses to yellow lights you you take everything off you make sure that the one you get has a wheelchair accessibility ramp okay and you call it sammy transport and then you reach out to them and say you know what i'm now an independent contractor so if you want me to transport those patients i'll do it for you but i'll do it for 250 dollars of transport this down where well, you've got to set the grass turn it on let's plant some grass here guys Go to a website called gov govdeals.com g o v d e a l s.com and then on that website type or search for you'll see a bunch of categories search for uh, ambulances and you'll see a bunch of retired ambulances that are like in great condition still, but the municipalities have to get rid of them because of their age, not because of mileage, things like that. Now, you want to buy one from like a southern state or a state out in the middle of nowhere, you know, kind of like where you are, where they don't get a lot of calls for service. Or they didn't put a lot of miles on it, so you can get a like a a 15-year-old ambulance that's in excellent shape for like two grand, right? Now you may have to do a little bit of shopping for a gurney or a wheelchair or something like that, but a lot of them have wheelchair lifts on them still that are fully functional. Yep, and just strip them down. Of course, it. it, it <clears throat> It's a bidding process, so you have to bid on it. But you know, strip it down and uh, go find a lettering shop out there that is good at lettering vehicles, and put Sammy's transport on them, and off you go. Sammy says, oh, "I don't want to mess this up. Well, let me go back and make sure I'm not missing any bits here." Sammy says, nope, I don't get any benefits. That's why I'm part time now, so I can pick the days I want. I go work at the VA for eight extra dollars an hour. Yes. <laughs> get the ambulance, turn it into an ice cream truck. Would you really? Because they actually have ice cream trucks in there, too, so you, you don't have to. I wouldn't mind getting a. Uh, like a hot dog truck or something. Hot dogs is good money. Just find a little corner to set up camp on and sell hot dogs. You know, and I would sell hamburgers. I'd sell hot dogs. Hot dogs and like Polish and all the simple stuff that, you know, it can be made in less than 30 seconds. Chips, sodas, waters, 
you know, go to like work sites and, you know, just park on the street and open up the truck and people will come out and buy food right off your truck. Easy money. I could see though. I could see you turning it into a ice cream truck. All your profits probably would go out. You know, you'd be eating all the profits. Yeah, govdeals.com. There's a lot of stuff on there. That's where I get a lot of deals from. I'm in the transportation business. A matter of fact, here's the forum I had made. CSI, Chambly Services, there's my phone number. Guys, don't call me all night long, huh? Uh, transportation voucher. Uh, yeah, so this is what people fill out when I transport their people for them, and then I bill them back. So uh, You have a cotton candy and a snow cone machine. Nice. I have a food prep license, which means I can work as in, in the food industry preparing food. I think it expires this year. I think it expires in June. I gotta go through more training. Cotton candy. I used to love cotton candy as a kid. Not so much now. Um, I love to watch it be made, though. I love watching cotton candy at the county fair just be made. I, I think it's so fun to watch, but I don't want to eat any of it. Ugh. Like, ugh. I get all lethargic. Uh. Toffee, or, or, or uh, yeah, taffy. I watch that thing, you know, just being stretched out nonstop at the county fair. And, you know, some sweet or saltwater taffy is, is okay. But make sure you don't have any loose fillings or any sort of cavities or any dental issues before you start pounding down the taffy from the county fair. Mm, it'll pull a tooth right out for you. It's like eating jerky. It's really rough. I guess I knew most of this stream would pretty much be occupied by getting this field straightened out, but it's got to get done. So, had to get done. Had to straighten her out, guys. Thanks for your patience. Allow me to get this field cleaned up. Definitely going to take care of our silage. And our hay issues for all of our animals forever. And it's way out of our way. Whoop, you know, it's not anywhere near our farm. But uh, concession wagons didn't work out very well, so they would rather have a food truck. Ah. What would be some cool items to have on the food truck? Okay, um... Hot dogs are easy. Um, brats are easy. Um, now, I used to have um, Gordon Food. I don't know if you have Gordon Gordon Food Services near you. Um, but I used to go to Gordon Foods and buy uh, pre-cooked hamburger patties. 
they were probably you get like 24 of them for like $18 that was a lot of money but they're pre-cooked all you have to do is put them in the microwave for 45 seconds and it was a premium burger premium burger so I'm like you know what? I'm gonna try a box of these right so with tax and all I was probably in them for you know over 20 bucks so I'm like all right you know let, let's do 399 a burger all you you know and and they're sizable patties uh, you know 399 per burger you, you know and that comes with whatever topping you want on it and a bag of chips for 399 now notice I didn't include the drink I did not include the drink and that was done intentionally because there's a lot of profit in drinks. So I had to cover the cost of the hamburger and the bun and, and all the condiments. I had to cover all that. So that's what the three ninety nine dollars was for. Then obviously if people are going to eat you know, a burger, they're going to want something. So a bottle of water was $1 and a can of soda was a dollar as well. So for under $5... People could get a hamburger, chips, and a drink. And my food food margins were greater than 150%, which is what you want in the food industry. Minimum of 150% profit. Because, you know, you got your bags and your, you know, your, your rubber gloves and your condiments and your napkins. You got all that that, that you have to pay for too, right? Plates, well, whatever. Sporks, forks, straws. So that's how you come up with, with that. And guys, those did those did really well. I had people, you know, say, "All right, I'll take, you know, two of the hamburgers, chips, and give me a Coke." And I would take the hamburger patty out of the freezer, put it in the microwave, 45 minutes, or I'm sorry, 45 seconds to a minute and a half later, I had their burger made for them. Who can push out a burger without being a fast food place in less than two minutes? This guy was. And people loved it. People loved it. And, uh, yeah. They're very successful. And now, not only were they there, you know, there's a, hey, you know, Tom, Bill, whoever, I'm going to go over and grab myself a burger uh, next door. Uh, can I get you anything? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll take two hot dogs with everything. Da, 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 da. So, that's where I started making money was on the other items as well. And then I would sell cookies. I would just get cookies from the local store's bakery, chocolate chip, oatmeal. I'd open them up and I'd repackage them into individual cookies for like 99 cents a cookie. You know, and I was paying like 4.99 for a dozen. So yeah, and chips. Food is like a little uh, food stand. That's good money. That's good money. Yes, absolutely. There you go. So you could do uh, transports and also out of the same truck as you're going pull over occasionally or during all that downtime when you're waiting for them to, to do whatever they're doing in Nashville, you could just pull across the street, open up your truck, sell sandwiches. Make a little bit of side... Side dough. Right. Right. Or actually, actually, if you're in a small one and you're the only one in town. Yes.
Seven. Wow. What's the population in... Oh, I almost named this... <laughs> I almost named your city, sorry. Um, what's the population in the town you live in? Let me ask it that way. I don't want like people knocking on your door. One is a taco truck. Okay. That's the spot. Let me see if I missed anything. Hold on. Uh, see bad. Uh, how we looking? How we looking? Looks like we got it all. Looks good to me, guys. Good to me. Now we have to roll it. So let's fold it up. Go put this back away. I want the taco truck, uh, 15,000 in the county, and in the city there's 2,500. Yeah, so the village I live in, which is the village of Rockdale, uh, Illinois, um, we used to only have like 1,200 people, but now I think we're up to about 2,000 ourselves. And a larger city surrounds us on all four sides. It's kind of funny how the city of Joliet came in and, and annexed all the property around us. So we're a little bitty village right in the middle of a large city. It's kind of, kind of cool that way. Uh, but yeah, um, in our county, geez, our county has probably two million people. No, probably a million. Probably a million. I know that's a lot of people, but we, Will County is a huge county. And we're right south of the city of Chicago. So, um, yeah. Look at all the suburbs of, of the city of Chicago. Huge. Go fill this thing up, huh? Oh. So we'll put it away full. We're, we're surrounded by colleges. Ah, roger that. Hmm. A little close to that wall, aren't we? Perfect. All right, got to get the roller out. Gonna roll that, guys, and I think we're done right at the two-hour mark. Oh, 
It's 11.53. It's an early stream for, for me again, huh, guys? Early morning, though. With a contractor of the mother-in-law, so. I'm not tired, though. I took a nap th uh, this evening. After dinner, I lay down for about an hour, hour and a half. So I'm wide awake, but when I'm done here, I'll go in and watch some of my dvr shows. This was a grape raspberry. This was an interesting flavor. The grape, you, you can really taste the grape, not so much the raspberry. APP State in Boone and ETSU in Johnson City, then Damascus is uh, known for uh, the Creeper Trail. What's a Creeper Trail? What's a Creeper Trail? That's interesting. A creeper trail. Is it what I think it is? Where people sit there and creep on other people? Y'all need to carry some guns over there or what? I mean... Can they not like go and find dates? They gotta creep on ladies or ladies gotta creep on guys or whatever fits their, you know, whatever their preferences. Is that what? Is that what you're talking about? Like creepers as in sexual predators creepers? Or is that some mascot? Or, uh, or does that Damascus school have a mascot called the creeper? Where are the creepers? Yay! We're 0-4 or 4-0 or whatever. We're creeping up on you. Where are the creepers? I, I, I don't know. Fill me in. It's the Appalachian Trail, but it sits off for a bike trip. Ah, gotcha. Let's off for a bike trail. How far are you away from Dollywood? I'll be in, what day is it? It's the 8th, and so I'll be in Florida in like 12 days for a week. Two hours. Oh, Sammy. If I lived two hours from Dollywood, I'd be there every weekend. I'd be in Dollywood every weekend, my friend. I love Dollywood. What's the name of that city just north of Dollywood? A little city there. They got some cool bed and breakfasts there. They had a cool restaurant there. I can't think of the name of that restaurant. But we went and had breakfast there. It was like old fashioned breakfast that that it's like a one in a one in the world sort of a breakfast thing. They made they had like really real maple syrup and like the sausage and eggs are just just fantastic there. 
I, I, I'm usually, yeah, my aunt lives in. Okay. Silverville. I'm trying to think of the name of the city that I went to. Yes, Pigeon Forge. Yeah. Now there's a. Um, there's a restaurant there. Can't think of the name of it. If you go on or out of Dollywood, make a left. You go down it. I think there's a Pizza Hut right there on the corner. We actually ate at that Pizza Hut one day. But you make a right there, and then the road kind of curves around. And right there when it comes, like, you end up in, like, an older downtown area. And this restaurant is right at the corner of, like, First and Main. And, uh, no, it's not the Pancake House. It's, uh, it's like a bed and breakfast, but people go there just for the, just for the breakfast portion of it. It's like in the older part. It's not where like all the large corporate restaurants are. It's kind of like in the older part of downtown. I'll think of it in a minute. But anyway, it was worth driving over there one morning for breakfast. So I can say one, I can say I did and it was delicious breakfast the sausages were were different I think they I think they raised their own food there I think they they made their own food there and he says is, is that the Gatlinburg area no I think it was Pigeon Forge because it's about 45 minutes from now no, I think it was Pigeon Forge. I think that's... I think that burnt when they had the fire. Really? You know what? Now I'm going to have to Google it. I'm going to have to Google it when I'm done here. But I really had fun there. And then, of course, you know, the uh, golf carts that they have right in front of Dollywood there. Those golf carts is uh, a must-do. Um, they they had a candy store there. Oh my God! There's a candy store. What was the name of that candy store? Beautiful, huge candy store. And I went in there, and uh, I'm like, "Watch, love. Um, I'm gonna eat more candy than I'm gonna buy." I'm like, "Can I have a sample of that? Sure. Can Can I have a sample of that? Yeah." I ended up asking for samples of everything. And of course, at the end, I I walked out of there with twenty dollars worth of candy and. When I finished my visit there, I f went on to visit Mother in the state of Alabama. That was a busy vacation year. Uh, I went to visit Mother in Alabama and obviously left a lot of that candy there with friends and family. But yeah, um, it it was a good a good trip. Um, they lost a lot of cabins and restaurants when they had the forest fire. Ah, uh, I wasn't aware of that. I'm going to take the sign out. Nothing I can do about it. The council will come back and put it back up. All right, let's make sure I didn't miss any rolled areas over here. Uh, let's see. It needs rolling. Let's get rid of fertilizing. Yep, straight ahead I missed an area. But I'll Thank pick you. Up. But I'll pick it up right now. Hey, Cliff's in the house. Welcome on in, Master Club. People were asking about you, good sir. People were asking about you. Thank you. Thank you for the double. Master Cliff with a double like. Thank you, good sir. What's your favorite part of Hollywood? 
or Dollywood, I mean. Yeah, so we went to Dollywood, stayed there for a week, and then we went and visited my mother, stayed there for a week. And then on the way back, we came home, we stayed at the house for about five days, and then we went to Wisconsin Dells. We went to the Wisconsin Dells, and we uh, stayed there for about three or four days. And then we came home. And we were supposed to uh, go to, um, oh my god, I can't think of the name. No, I, I've been having problems like remembering names a lot here lately. What's going on in my head? Um, the mountain with all the president's names or heads on it. What's the name of that place? It's a big national landmark. It's uh, Mount Rushmore. We, we were going to go to Mount, Mush, Mount, Thank you. Mount Rushmore that next weekend. Holland Chevys. Uh -huh. Nova's. Nova. Nova. Uh, yeah, I'm a Nova nut. I love love my Novas, man. Love my Novas. Rock on, Holland Chevys. Rock on, brother. Uh, but we never made it to um, that third leg of our summer vacation trip. I th yeah, M Mount Rushmore. I, I think we were all just, like, worn out. So that's still on my uh, must-do uh, places. So I will go to Mount, Mount Rushmore. Also, in that same region, we will be going to a, a place where they have um, Black, Black Hills Gold. It's a little national park there where gold is just kind of laying around everywhere. And, uh, you know, they have, like, cops just watching everyone. So if you, like, pick it up, you're going to go to jail for life if you even touch it. It's for looks. You you can look at it. Mount Rushmore, uh, you know, with the gold everywhere. So, uh, so that's going to be part of our tour as well. Probably Christmas lights for Halloween. Really? Okay. All right. Hi, everyone. Hi, Cliff. How are you, sir? Are you feeling better? How are you making out? I, I, I know you're slightly slightly uh, weathered when I seen you last on the purple side. How goes you? Tell me everything is okay. They have amazing uh, drone shows for the 4th of July. Cool. So, what I'm planning on doing, and, and I always wanted to do this for my friend um, over at uh, Jason Gadrum, but he wouldn't let me coordinate anything. He says, if you do it, it's all on you, but nobody wanted to. I wanted to get all the fans together, you know, and many who wanted, you know, and just meet in one area, you know, of course, everyone's there on their own dime, right? So we could all meet and greet each other, you know, maybe rent a hotel or, or you know, just kind of hang out, you know, during the day, you know, just have like a huge outside gathering like a barbecue or something just you know kind of make that like the fan club gathering sort of thing and there was about 20 or 30 people who were interested in in, in making it happen but no one actually committed to the gathering so but it did spin off another group of people who started going there and they would just set up camp at that Walmart that Jason would always show. But they went, you know, smaller groups did, you know, stayed a night or two and then went on their way. But I'm thinking, like, lots of people just hanging out. Doing okay. Still no Facebook streaming yet. Why is that, Cliff? Are you having issues with Facebook again, are you?
The Dream War Hotel. What is that? What do you like about about the Dream War? Hey, this should be it for rolling, guys, and then I think we have it. I think we have it. Let me just check the... No, no, I don't have it either, do I? Lots of pieces I missed there. Let me go back and see if I can't get them. I'm gathered up. Like one in here. Let's, let's just go back and hit it again. I don't know how I missed this. Yeah, what part of that hotel did you like? Yeah, it's not letting me... It's not letting me grab that miss... This rolled area for whatever. Oh, not did. Let's go down here and grab some of this bits down here. It's an area right here. I guess I missed. So we can't get that done. Got that cleaned up, and then there's one way down here. Um. It's Dolly's Hotel that goes with the theme park, and it's absolutely... Oh, okay. How's the price? Fair pricing and everything? Cliff says, My stream lab is streaming to the wrong page. It's streaming to Eddie's home instead of the gaming page. Can you not just click on that and and uh, adjust that? And then maybe you have to um, got maybe you have to cliff delete it as a access page and then reinstall it. If you're logged in, you know, to the wrong one when you go live, well, as you know, that'll be an issue for you. Remember, I couldn't get my um, my webhook to work right because I was logged in as me, but under my administrator access for CSI Gaming. And then Jeff said, no, 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 no. you got to be logged in to your gaming page direct. You can't be logged in as an administrator. So that so that was my issue. All right, guys, that's done there. All right, let's roll this back up. And the grass field, guys, is done. Now we have a much larger grass field. It's all just one big field. I knew it would take most of the stream, and it took just about every bit of it, with the exception of the 20 minutes we spent on the animals. So. Perfect. Let's go put this roller away, guys. We're right at two hours and 15 minutes. Next time, next farm that we go to, guys, I think we'll be back on uh, Uncle Tony's farm or one of the other farms. We'll just make that circle around all the farms, and we'll end up back on the back 40 again. Um, look forward to tomorrow's farm. I tried accessing the community farm one more time just see if it was still hanging out there and it was gone it was gone so um, I looked for a farm I had on there and it's gone too right, well, let's get this watch says it's not only better than one of the other hotels oh cool All right, let's get this roller washed. Cliff's here, so we gotta wash everything, right? Actually, on, on this farm, I pretty much wash everything on this farm. I don't think I put away anything dirty here on this one. This is a clean farm. No, the back 40 farm, if it's not like really dirty, then I don't, I don't wash it.
Let's put the roller away, put the backup tractor away. Cliff, it was nice seeing, uh, seeing you at lunch. I met you at McDonald's for lunch. I don't know if you've seen that post I put on there. Like, how cool is that? That's a cool post. I'm like, yeah, I got to use this one. Put the backup back, back where the backup goes. Backup tracker back in here. And all the animals were attended to at the beginning of the stream. Guys, I think when we come back, I think this field may be ready. I think this field may be ready for harvesting when, when we come back. That'll be a lot of surgrim. Sam says, um, the time I stayed there, it was only $85 a night. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, I wanted to see where I was at with my followage. Um, somebody was asking if I made it to a thousand days yet. I, I'm like, I don't know. Let me find out. And I never typed it in there. Let me see. There, it'll tell me if I'm at there. Uh, me at McDonald's? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I know, Cliff, but, you know, I, I, I got to include you in, in, in all of my funny content material on my gaming page so i did just that i don't know if you got an opportunity to take a look at it yet but go look on csi's gaming page and you'll see the little funny thing i put on there or i, I thought it was funny anyway trying to add a little bit of extra content on there all right follow it's 969 so i'm getting there i am getting there 969 nice okay uh guys let's do a recap um, when we knew uh, that we were coming here to the new beginning farm, we knew that we had the grass field to finish. We did that, guys. It's it's all been carved out. It's perfect. All that's done. There's now a garage up there to leave our, all of our equipment in. Uh, all that's done. All of our um, animals have been tended to here. Our cotton field over on the other side is not ready yet. Um, may, may be ready when we come back. Things are looking good here. The sheep are good. The pigs are great. Cows are great. Everything, everything here is looking great. We did not check in with the banker though, guys. Look at that though, eight hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Thank you. Our loan is eight hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars here. So, yeah, um, we're gonna need to pay the banker here some money pretty soon. Um, as it relates to contracts, guys, not a whole lot of big dollar contracts here. I know that there was some talk about, uh, you know, how we doing on contracts um, earlier in the stream. We do have that one bailing one, but again, it's more grass, 26000 can definitely get us there. I think our money on this farm is going to be done in 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 our, our chicken barns. Our chicken barns, guys, that's where the money will be at um, here. Um, See if I've got something to represent that. I I, I thought I had. Hmm, I could be wrong. I thought I had something that may represent us making some dough with the chickens, but I'm not seeing it here. No. No. I'll work on that. Um. Yeah. But uh, this stream guys this stream uh yeah uh, no money was had uh, this stream it was just about cleaning up the field so uh yeah so we will get back uh to that next time no money this time no uh no scuffs no scuffs uh, Angie, thank you for hitting that. Uh, thank you, Holland Chevys. Thanks, Cliff, for the doubles. Let's see what we got, guys, in stream stream totals. 
Eh, it's a light stream. It's a light stream, which is fine. Which is fine. Total of 500 minutes viewed. We had a total of 153 comments. We have eight shares, 11 reactions. So it's a light stream. No biggie. Those are going to happen. Those are going to happen. And I'm proud to have you all guys here. Again, thank you all for being the best part of CSI Gaming. Appreciate y'all being here when you can. Um, just hang out and chat and just relax for a while. Seems like I got the same uh, 10 or 20 regular viewers. And appreciate all 10 to 20 of you popping in here uh, throughout the same stream at one time. Uh, I appreciate that, guys. Um, you know, Facebook does seem to be uh, going away with its popularity. It wasn't what it was during the pandemic. Um, I see people trying to go over to some other um, other um, platforms and see them spending a lot of money and they have some good ideals and uh, it's just not doing it anymore, guys. It it looks like what's taken over live streaming is is sales stuff i mean if you're selling um if you're selling rocks or stones or if you're selling uh costume jewelry or if you're selling uh blankets or some sort of uh uh um, asian wear or um hindu indian wear uh yeah i see the, those people getting um you know, several hundred watchers or viewers per stream. Um, so it is what it is. I'm here because I have fun and I'm here just to entertain you. Um, and as long as you guys want to be here, I'll be here for you. So thank you for your support. Thank you all for being here. People are leaving TikTok too. Yeah, you know, I spent some time over in TikTok. Now, I got to tell you, I, I, I preach this, Sam, for years. Definitely afraid of TikTok, um, only because of what I've seen over there. Um, Dan asked me to go give it a try. He says, go over, look, browse around. He says, Steve, he says, you're a smart man. I'm like, wow, thanks. He says, go over there, look around. He says, look past, look past all the miners and look past of all the stuff that could send someone to jail if they get, get caught. And look and see if you might benefit from it. So I did. Uh, I, I I was over there. I, I researched it out. Um, you know, you got to have like 10,000 likes or views. And the money that, that they pay is ridiculous. They want you to have like 100,000 followers. And uh, yeah, so I see what people are doing now. People are actually selling themselves. Now let's stop there and think about that. Um, Angie says, good night, everyone. Angie says, good night, Angie. So what I mean by people are selling themselves, well, yeah, that's what I was talking about with Dan, but that's not what I'm talking about now. Um, yeah, it's not worth it, Sam. I, I won't be going to TikTok. Um, I, I'm just sharing the story here in the after stream chat here. Um, so say that, I built a successful stone or marble um, selling and it looks like they're either Chinese or Japanese and they try to speak English and their dialect isn't all that well so it's hard to understand what they're saying but what they do now is because they have built up say a hundred or two hundred followers they're saying, if you want to know how to order from me, click the link above. It's my friend's page. And on her friend's TikTok page, there's a description on there that will show you how to order from this page. So in doing so, they're directing people to that page to get the information they need to come back and order from there. So that page is getting views that page is getting likes and followers so they're basically selling their services to get to drive people over to there so they're charging that people money to get that page up and running so it's a little bit of a side hustle so i'm like you know what i don't want any part of that and if you look at what the united states is doing here as it relates to tiktok um looks like 
that that app will be banned here in the states in short order anyway. Just because what I previously said, um, the fine people who own TikTok, and I won't mention any other countries, but uh, those fine folks who own it are taking the data um, that is uh, gathered from it and using it for non-proper use. And um, what they're allowing some of the miners on TikTok to do should immediately be banned in the states. Um, you should not be able to see a 15-year-old girl on there doing what she's doing. Or for that matter, a 15-year-old uh, young man on there doing what he's doing. And earning $4,000 a day doing it. It's wrong. It's wrong. Where, where are their parents? And where is the government supervision of that app? Well, it's coming. And it'll be gone anyway. All right. Enough about TikTok. Thank you guys for watching us here. Um, guys, um, we will be here on Facebook for as long as I'm here um, on this planet. And we will be uh, also a little bit on Twitch because, you know, Twitch, uh, the, the purple side has got a little bit thing happening there. But you got to understand it. It's like going from IBM or iPhones to, um, to like a drone phone or a Samsung phone. It's like a different sort of understanding of its functions. And guys, I just got too much on my plate right now with everything I got going on to finish learning what I need to to be near a great streamer here on Facebook, let alone the purple side. So anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. I, I hope this chat was entertaining after the stream here. Um, um, I know that other streamers have this little background thing. I have a green screen now, but I don't know how to set it up. It's like it's been sitting here on the floor for a month. I don't know how to set it up. If I set it up, I could do some really cool stuff behind me and we could do a thousand other things. But again, like I just said, I don't have time to learn all of that stuff. So thank you guys. See you next time uh, here at CSI Gaming. Take care of yourself. Oh, a little quick on the end stream button there. Take care of yourself, guys. Take care of each other. Do a, uh, a gift somebody a random act of kindness, would you? Change the world for one person. You'll change the world for us all. Good night, everyone. See you later. Have a good night, Sam. See you later.